two spaceships are traveling together through the galaxy at close to the speed of light. Mounted on one ship is a laser that can fire pulses of light, and on the other, a mirror. The pilot of the first ship fires a pulse at the mirror and watches as it is reflected back. A clock on board measures how long the round trip takes. But now suppose that he does this as the ships are passing an observer on a nearby asteroid. According to relativity theory, this observer sees the pulse moving through space at exactly the same speed that the pilot does, namely the speed of light. But he also sees the pulse traveling a longer distance because, from his perspective, he must add the forward motion of the ships to the motion of the pulse between them. So he measures a longer time interval for this round trip than the pilot does, because he's watching the pulse go farther without going any faster. This effect is called time dilation. If two observers are moving with respect to one another, each perceives that the other's time is flowing more slowly. Imagine two observers, one seated in the center of a speeding train car and another standing on the platform as the train races by. As the center of the car passes the observer on the platform, he sees two bolts of lightning strike the car, one on the front and one on the rear. The flashes of light from each strike reach him at the same time, so he concludes that the bolts were simultaneous since he knows that the light from both strikes traveled the same distance to his eyes at the same speed, the speed of light. He also predicts that his friend on the train will notice the front strike before the rear strike, because from his perspective on the platform, the train is moving to meet the flash at the front and moving away from the flash at the rear. But what does the passenger see? As her friend on the platform predicted, the passenger does notice the flash from the front before the flash from the rear, but her conclusion is very different. As Einstein showed, the speed of the flashes as measured in the reference frame of the train must also be the speed of light. So because each light pulse travels the same distance from each end of the train to the passenger, she can only conclude one thing. If she sees the front strike first, it actually happened first whose interpretation is correct. The observer on the platform, who claims that the strikes happened simultaneously, or the observer on the train, who claims that the front strike happened before the rear strike. Einstein tells us that both are correct, within their own frame of reference. This is a fundamental result of special relativity. From different reference frames, there can never be agreement on the simultaneity of events. It follows from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are both are but different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average mind. Furthermore, the equation E is equal M C square, in which energy is but equal to mass multiplied with the square of the velocity of light, showed that very small amount of mass may be converted into a very large amount of energy, and vice versa. The mass and energy were in fact equivalent, according to the formula mentioned above.